time testing the limits of the new stuff we got in yesterday's update. I even make a flying rattle bus. So strap in, this is gonna be fun. All right, before we get to testing, I missed something really important from yesterday's update. They've updated the prop mover so that it now works on lava. So check it out, the lava moves, and now you can have a true the floor is lava map. Curious though if this still works when I turn the lava surface on. Gotta make sure it doesn't damage me and that it continues when it hits me. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, here we go, it's moving, and yes, it still works. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, this gives me some ideas. What if you had a level of lava cubes that were moving that you had to like bounce in between before you died? That would be like, I don't know, this would be so hard. I'm just gonna make it real quick. Okay, there we go. They're working now. So if I jump on this, I have to be careful that I can make it across. Oh man, that'd be so hard. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna try this for real. I've got a checkpoint here now. I wanna see if I can actually get to the end of this without dying here. So let's see, you gotta time it just right. Yeah, okay, whoa. Ah! Oh, I almost like fell off. Oh no. Dang it. That's so hard. But that is so fun. Like guys, like for real, this is like a whole new level of death run stuff. Oh, another thing I forgot to do in yesterday's video was a circle trick. Now that we have these awesome terrain pieces, I bet we can make a whole planet with a well-placed circle trick. Okay, there we go. Let's just see what happens when we rotate this. Yo guys, that's actually super cool. We got like a planet core within the planet. Wait, we got to make a real planet here. I'm going to copy all of it and then just place it down on a circle trick. And just like that, folks, we've got a perfect round planet. I mean, I would definitely need to like uh, make this look a little better so that wasn't so like, I don't know, uniform. This is so cool. Okay, we definitely need to test everything with the battle bus. But before we do that, I want to test the cow catcher. I want to see how many of these things we can throw out and what kind of things we can do with that. So I've got it equipped. And last time I did this, I forgot that you can turn on infinite consumables. Now that I've got that on, I can easily just throw out as many of these as I want. It looks like they are 20 memory each. I don't know the math on this, but we could be here for a while, folks. Oh my gosh. I don't know. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Oh, wait, there's a max. I thought I could just throw down as many as I wanted. Wait, wait, I thought some were disappearing when I threw it down, but it's just when I throw it close to another one, it destroys it. Oh my gosh, I thought it was the max for a second. So now I have to be extra careful. I can't overlap them. Otherwise they destroy each other. Okay, good to know. This really means that I can throw down like a ton of these things. And the problem is, is I can't copy them and just paste. I have to throw them all down individually. What is the math on this? So if there's no like actual limit to these and it's just a memory limit thing, I just did the math in my head and I can throw down basically 50 for every thousand memory. So 50 times 100 is 5,000. I mean, that is a lot of these cow catchers. I don't know if I have the patience to actually throw down 5,000 of these things, guys. Let's just get it to 1,000, maybe. All right, I've got 10,000 memory here of these things, and I think I'm done <laughs> throwing these out. But with all of this, let's see if a souped up car can make it through all of these. All right, here we go. Let's uh, come on out. Let's get some speed. And then we're going to ram into these. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, no. The cow guards are great. You can't bust through them. Wow. This is a solid barrier here. Wait, so does that mean a tank can't make it through them? Let's try it. Literally just going to ram right into these. Oh, no. Tanks cannot get through these. I mean, I guess you can like blow them up, but but you can't drive through them. I know something that can destroy this in one swoop though. The rock can, oh my gosh, man. The prop mover just destroys everything. Don't mess with the foundation. All right, now let's test the battle bus. Man, I love this thing already. First things first, it's a really slow vehicle. Just the default, it can only go 50 miles an hour. Luckily, this is more similar to a car than like a tank. So you can come into the settings and put boost region on to unlimited. So that makes it so you can actually boost as the battle bus and kind of do it indefinitely. And with the boost on, we can get up to 78 miles an hour. But I have a suspicion here that the movement modulator will work on the battle bus. At least I hope so. Let's uh, try this out. So here we go. We're in the battle bus. We're hitting the movement modulator. Oh yeah, it definitely works. We're up to 120 miles an hour without the boost. But then when I boost, let's see if we can get it all the way up to... Wait, it doesn't go any faster with the boost. Okay, well, the speed doesn't seem to be changing. Oh no, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh man, the control is crazy when it goes that fast. So you have to be extra careful when you're driving this quickly because it is very tippy. It's actually not too bad to drive, though, at this speed if you're just careful. Just don't do sharp turns. You're, uh, you're done. Let's see how it does going off of a ramp at that speed. Here we go. Boom. Whoa. Yeah, and it's okay. Doesn't get a ton of distance. Now we got to make sure it works with everything else. Okay, let's try the speed boost pad first. Okay, yeah, it kind of works. It feels really minimal because this vehicle is so big. But let's try bounce pads. I expect it to work. Oh, yeah, it works really good. That means you know it's going to work on crash pads. Woohoo! 
Whoa, you got some distance on that. Wait a second. We gotta build a battle bounce bounce house. Okay, here's our bounce house. Now we're gonna drop in a bunch of battle buses face first like this. Yo, wait, what the heck? When they fall on their tip, they just kind of stay there. What in the world? Oh, wait, now it's falling. Very slowly falling. It defies all the laws of gravity. What in the world? <laughs> wait, wait, I wanna see if I can get 16 of these doing like a tip stand right next to each other. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. And let's see them all fall, boom. <laughs> oh, they're all standing up together and falling at the same rate. What is happening? This is actually kind of a thing of beauty. They're all falling together. Oh yeah. The buses are all ready to go pick up the kids. All right, we just need to start dropping some of these in here and just watch what happens. Whoa! Battle bus mayhem down there. Oh, man, I don't know why I love watching things bounce around so much. Let's see if I can actually get in one. I did! <laughs> Oh man, I just love vehicles. This one pierced straight through the crash pad. Look at it sticking out the other side. You know what? Let's throw in some tanks for good measure. I don't know why. Battle buses and tanks battling it out in a bounce house. Truly a thing of beauty. All right, guys, we got to move on. I can sit here and watch this all day. And now for every vehicle's weakness, air vents and pinball bumpers. So you want a flying battle bus, eh? Let's just put an air vent back here and see what happens. Goodbye, bus. Oh, that was really disappointing. Even at mega high. All right, well, I know how to fix this. A mega high pinball ball bumper. All right, here we go, guys. Say goodbye to your precious battle bus. Oh, man, guys. It's crazy to me to watch these things just bounce off of these pinballs. It's so hilarious. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Let's see if I can jump in one before it gets bounced off. Let's go. Let's go. We're in. Oh, we couldn't stay in for too long. I love that, though. It's so good. But I want to see if I can actually make a flying bus that's, like, stable. So what I'm going to do here is grab a metal piece that looks like it could actually, like, be a part of the bus. And then I'm going to spawn a bus on top of it. Okay, there we go. It's holding the bus pretty well, but it's a little bit too wide. So let's shrink this down just a bit. Now let's try putting the bus right on top of it. Boom. Okay, that looks like a pretty good width to me. Now let's put a prop mover on that pad. Give it a little extra distance. Make sure on prop collision it continues and it doesn't damage anything. And let's just speed it up a bit. Okay, let's try this out. I've started the game and when I press this button, it should start moving. But I don't know if the bus will stay like flat on it. Let's try it. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh no. Wait, what the heck? I mean, that's moving really well, but the bus just stayed still. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What happens now if I get in it? It just drops down. That is weird. Maybe it needs a prop manipulator that pushes it from the back. Oh, you know what? I don't think this is going to work, guys, because it just goes straight through props. It doesn't push it at all. It work if I was in the bus? Okay, so when I get in the bus, it should start the prop movers. Here we go. Boom. And yes, it's working. Now we've got a flying battle bus. Although the one in the back is just like damaging it. Oh my gosh. Let's try it without the one in the back. So here we go. Boom. And oh, no, it just floated off without me. Ah, come back. So you definitely need the one in the back pushing, uh, but that totally works. Uh, there we go. We got a working flying battle bus and you can switch seats and everything. And this is pretty awesome. Oh no, we fell over platforms. <laughs> I'm sure we can make that work better, but it's good enough for me.